Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P517. Um, I'm doing a little, I guess you can call it restoration video, but it's really just maintenance and care for my shoes. So usually most of the time after everywhere, almost everywhere, my soles get clean. Um, these are going to be on review pretty shortly, but anyways, um, pick these up, warm today. As you can see, one wear and they got dirty already on the bottom. And um, I'm going to show you guys what I do just to maintain it, keep it clean, keep it fly. And then at least that way it um, you know takes off any any chemicals or, or residue, whatever, that just kind of sits in and build up on it. So that way at least your kicks looks fresh all the time. Um, pretty simple. Not much I need to use. Depending on the type of shoe you have, um, just a simple scotch pad with sponge on one side of it. Sometimes you might need a magic eraser. Um, if you want to get all technical and stuff, you can definitely pick up some Jason Mark Premium Sneaker Solution. But honestly, um, some basic dish soap would do the trick to it. But let me show you what I do so you can see. Uh, basically, I just kind of wet the area on the bottom, kind of run it through. Minimize water use. I do pay the water bill, but kind of just rinse it. The toe box is fine because it's patent leather, and um, got that all wet. Dampen the sponge. Put a little bit of soap on there. Dampen that, and all I do is pretty simple. I kind of take the Scotch pad side. It's not harsh. Um, it actually doesn't have any metal in it, so, and I just kind of rub and rub and scrub, so, I don't get too detailed into it, because, you know, they're going to get dirty again, but when I store them away, I want to keep it clean, I don't want to store dirty shoes in my closet that I've either stepped on, you know, the road, stepped on pissed in the bathroom, um, this is a separate sponge that I use for shoes, so don't worry folks, the one right there is for cleaning dishes. Um, and that's pretty much it. You just scrub, and I'll show you the difference in a moment. Pretty simple, and I do it after pretty much every wear, so that way it minimizes what I have to do every single time. And um, you know, any special things you might need to get a little special toothbrush, a little harder bristle to get to the cracks and, and nooks. But let me rinse this off. Show you the difference right there. And that's pretty much it. So nothing too fancy, nothing nothing sexy, but straightforward and simple. You saw that I didn't put too much effort into it. Um, and you just kind of rinse it at a, I'd say about a 45 degree angle, just so the water runs, but it doesn't get to the other side of the shoe. And what I got is some microfiber towel. Pick these up from Costco. Just kind of dabble on the top. Run it around the side, and uh, there they are. Now you have a pair of clean bottom on the soles. Midsoles clean, and let's do a comparison shot for you. You can kind of see the dirt. This one's kind of a dark gray, but it's really supposed to be kind of a light gray to it. get a better angle for you so kind of the heel drag that dirt that usually kicks around that's gone so hopefully you can see the difference hopefully that helps but that's what I do to clean my soles if you guys got any questions hit me up but I recommend every sneakerhead to do it if you really care if you don't doesn't matter it doesn't mean you don't care just not not too big of a priority for you but that's pretty much it. So basic dish soap, scotch pad with no metal pieces to it. And uh, if you need toothbrush, go ahead with it. If you need a soft bristle brush, go ahead with it. But that's all. Pretty simple. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So I just want to show that to you guys. Peace.